Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at drawing a scatter graph. And we're also going to look at doing a line of best fit on a scatter graph. So we have a data set here, and the question is to draw a scatter graph. So this data set shows the salary of some staff and the price of the car they bought. And we're going to look and see if there's a relationship between the salary and the car price. So the first thing we do when drawing any graph is to draw a pair of axes. So I'm going to use a pencil and a ruler, because you always use a pencil and ruler when drawing graphs. So let's have a think about these axes, because we want to look at the data set to figure out how big the axis, um, well, for either axis wants to be. So I'm going to have salary along the bottom, and that goes up to 55. I'm going to round that up to 60 to give me a nice even number. And then my y-axis car price is going to go up to 30. That's nice and round already. So um, let's see what we've got here. So I'm going to... So I'm going to do my y-axis first. Um, so that's my salary. So I'm going, uh, sorry, that's my car price. So I'm going to go up to 30, uh, which means, so I'm going to do it 15 of these centimetre boxes. And each one of those will be two. Okay, so we're starting at zero, going up to 30. Twenty-eight, thirty. there we go. So that is my y-axis, my car price. And you can tell that these uh, salaries and car prices, by the way, are in thousands of pounds. So this is the pound symbol for Great British Pounds, and the K means thousand. Um, it's not a very cheap car. <laughs> so I'm going to put on this axis a label. So car price, and I also need to include my units of thousands of pounds. There we go, okay. And you see I use pen to label my axes? It's only drawing the graph that you necessarily need a pencil for. Okay, so that's my y-axis car price. Now I'm gonna do my x-axis of salary. Now I said I was gonna go up to 60. So, let me have a look here. So, to go up to 60, 50, 60, I'm going to do uh, 12 of these little boxes, where we start at zero, go up to 60, and every two boxes is 10. Which means that every uh, one box is five, but I'm not going to label those because it's unnecessary. I'm just going to put my tens on. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to label this as salary and my units. Great. So now it comes to plotting my points. So I've got um, each set of these points and I'm going to have my salary on the x-axis and my car price on the y-axis and I'm going to kind of follow the along the corridors and up the stairs rule. So let's start with salary. So at £10,000 the car cost £3,000. So I'm going to put a point there. Now I don't know if you can see this, let me sort of zoom in a bit. You'll see my point is a, a cross but not a diagonal cross. It's a an upright cross with a vertical and a horizontal and I personally find that easier because it means I can just follow the lines on my graph paper and actually that leads to a much clearer and uh, more precise location of my point so that's how I like to do it but it doesn't really matter some people prefer uh, 
like uh, diagonal crosses, some people like to put little dots, completely up to you, as long as I can see where the points are. Okay, my next one, at 20k for salary, the car costs 10. There we go. At 26, the car costs 15. So 26 is there. The car costs 15. There we go. At 30, car costs 12. At 40k salary, the car costs 20. At 50k salary, the car costs 28. And at a 55k salary, the car costs 30 grand. There we go. Okay, so you can see I've got um, my points plotted. No, they're not in an exact straight line, and that's absolutely fine. That's what we would expect from a scatter graph. So it's called a scatter graph because the points are kind of scattered around a little bit. So now what I want to do is I want to draw a line of best th fit through these points. So it's actually, this is much easier if you have a see-through ruler. Now you can see that I don't. I've got this ancient, very unsee-through ruler. And so if I have that, what I like to do is I like to put the ruler on its side uh, to try and do the line of best fit so I can then see straight down. Now the idea with the line of best fit is we want to have roughly the same number of points above the line as below it. So that is our aim. We do not need to join up the first and last points. We do not need to go through the origin, which is the zero, zero point. So those are two things that a lot of people try and do, but absolutely not necessary. We can put the line of best fit anywhere we like. It doesn't have to go through any of those points. It doesn't have to go through any specific point as long as we are trying to put it through the middle of all of these. So let me have a look at this now and see. Um, you know what? I'm going to be happy with that. So I'm going to draw my line of best fit. There. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be better. If I was doing it again, I might move it slightly more like that. So you can see here, I have one, two, three, four points above the line and one, two, three points below the line. Um, I used a ruler and I did it in one smooth motion. So don't sketch a line of best fit. It doesn't really work very well and it looks ugly. Okay, great. So that's my line of best fit on this scatter graph. And then the last thing that I want to do is add a caption. So again, all graphs, they need a title or a caption, and it depends on what kind of level you're working at, which of those you need. So generally, if you're in kind of high school or secondary school, you'll want a graph title, which goes at the top. But if you're doing uh, later stages of education, or if you're writing something like a report, it's better to have a caption. So what a caption does, it's very similar to a title actually, but it gives the graph an, a number. So um, anything that's not a table is always a figure. So it's going to be figure and this might be figure three, for example. And I can then say what the graph shows. So graph showing the price of cars bought by staff on, I don't know, given salaries. The phrasing is completely up to you. As long as it describes what the graph is showing, then that's the main thing. And there we go. That is how we draw a scatter graph from a data set and also how we draw a line of best fit.